It is now 644 and we move on to the latest on the coronavirus here in Connecticut. We're learning more this morning about a 22 year old University of New Haven student who died from the coronavirus. He was set to graduate this spring. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio joins us live now from the university with reaction to this heartbreaking news. Yeah, well, this is just a devastating story. This young man died on Saturday the 6th. He apparently had been on a ventilator at Yale New Haven Hospital. He just turned 22 December 6th. And um, yeah, just this people here really loved him and he was very popular on campus. It's so sad to see someone so young pass away from COVID. University of New Haven announcing 22 year old student Joshua Goodart died from complications from coronavirus this past weekend. The school says he got sick in January during winter break and was hospitalized last month. He didn't return to campus for the spring semester. I saw the email this morning and it like it did hit hard. The university said in a statement that Joshua's advisor Liberty Page said he was passionate about his major, describing him as as a hardworking, sincerely nice and happy person. He never had a complaint and was nothing but positive. I'm thinking of his smile, how cheerful he was and how excited he was about his future. The school says Goodart was looking to finish his senior capstone project and was working on an internship when he got sick. The university plans to award Goodart's degree posthumously this spring. Seeing someone so young and so well spoken about and it's just hard to like see that he had COVID and passed away so young. So Joshua had been a cybersecurity and network major. He had planned to continue to work in Connecticut after he graduated. We know he's from Oxford, Connecticut, and according to a GoFundMe page, he leaves behind a mom and dad and a younger brother. The university will have a candlelit vigil in his honor on Friday. We're live in West Haven. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.